What is an additional information needed notification? An additional information needed notification is issued when BCCU needs detailed facts of an offense or when there is an unknown crime or negative action reported by any of the sources BCCU researches. This is not a disqualification notice. Your background check will remain in a pending status until you return all requested information to BCCU for processing. Once you receive your Additional Information Needed packet, review the information. The packet contains a cover letter, Additional Information Needed, page 2, Background Check Results, and BCCU Applicant Affidavit. Review Additional Information Needed. Go to page 2 of the packet. You will need this page as a reference in completing the additional information request. The total number of crimes or negative actions that need additional information are listed at the top of the page. Review each numbered crime. Review the questions that must be answered for each crime. There can be multiple questions. The questions are numbered, so make sure each question is addressed in your description of events. Review the required documents for providing answers to these questions. They can include court documents and or a BCCU applicant affidavit. Filling out an affidavit. The BCCU applicant affidavit is used to provide additional information regarding crimes, negative actions, and applicant self-disclosures. Before you complete the affidavit, review the crime or negative actions that need additional information on page two of your packet and require a BCCU applicant affidavit. Complete the affidavit by following these steps. Fill out all required fields in Section A and indicate the purpose of the affidavit. Make sure to fill out the first line of Section B. BCCU will reject the form if not completed. Fill in date of crime or action. This date must match the date of the crime provided to BCCU by the reporting entity or the applicant in a self-disclosure. Fill in official name of crime or negative action as provided to BCCU. Fill in degree of crime, state, and outcome. Convicted, dismissed, deferred, etc. In description of events, answer additional information questions. Check attachment box if you attach additional documents to the affidavit and write number of pages attached. This may be needed if there are additional affidavit pages or court documents. Sign and date your form. BCCU will reject your affidavit if it is not signed and dated. Electronic signatures are accepted only if accompanied by a valid government-issued picture identification. Handwritten signatures do not require an ID. Court Documents Where do I get court documents? If you don't have a copy of your records, you can refer to the clerk of the court that processed your case. What it includes. The indictment, information, or complaint is the formal document that lists your charges and a brief description of the facts of the case. Usually, information is filed by the prosecuting attorney and indictment by a grand jury. We also need the judgment or sentencing documents which lists your convictions. Frequently Asked Questions what if my conviction or crime is from a long time ago and I can't remember details? It is recommended that applicants refer to charging papers, court documents, or other official documents as they list criminal convictions, pending charges, dates, and other information exactly as they are listed in those documents. You can contact the court, and if the court does not have any information, you can try the reporting law enforcement agency to see if they can get a copy of the report, which may help recall the incident. What do I do if I have been unsuccessful in obtaining the requested additional information? Please contact BCCU for assistance. BCCU will review and evaluate what we can do further on our end for the background check. In some cases, you may be able to provide additional information such as any emails or documents from the reporting agency indicating they cannot assist or provide further information. Our legal team will take this into consideration. What are the common reasons for rejects? Not completing all the required fields on the affidavit? Date of crime or action does not match what was provided to BCCU by one or more data sources. 
not checking the attachment box if additional documents are attached to the affidavit, affidavit is not signed and dated, electronic signatures must have a photo ID attached, not answering the questions or providing all the information requested, sending BCCU your additional information. Additional information packets must be returned by mail, fax, or attached in an email. The information cannot be provided over the phone. Additional information can be sent to P.O. Box 45025, Olympia, Washington, 98504-5025. Fax it to area code 360-902-7954 or email us at bccuprocessing at dshs.wa.gov. Please review your additional information packet first before submitting the required documents. An applicant affidavit and or court documents may be required. An applicant affidavit is included in the packet if one is needed. An applicant affidavit is a legal form and all required fields must be filled out and the form needs to be signed. If an applicant affidavit is electronically signed, a photo ID must be attached. If you have a question about the information requested, please contact BCCU. For confidentiality purposes, you must have a copy of your packet and background check results for BCCU staff to discuss the background check information with you. Please call area code 360-902 7538 or email us at bccuprocessing at dshs.wa.gov.